Hello and welcome to part 13 of this tutorial for making an asteroid game. In this, uh, in this video we're going to learn how to uh, s get points and display them on the screen. As you can see there as I shoot asteroids and I've shot that uh, enemy ship there as the asteroids break down, my uh, uh, score goes up in the corner there. Okay. Okay, whenever you're going to write text on the screen, one of the first things you have to do is set up a font. Uh, tell the computer which uh, font you want to use. Now, the reason you have to do this, and you can't just you know pick some default font or something, is that um, if you play this on different machines and, and the machine does not have the font that you... Uh, that you want to use, it will not look right. So what it does, what this does, is this imports the font that you want from the computer that you're currently working on, so that regardless of what system you're playing it on, it will look the way you want it to. So the first thing again, we have to we have to create a font. So we're over here, right here, just like with uh, the sprites and the objects, you just right click and go create. Okay, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And you can see this is the default font. If I didn't do this at all, this is what would show up um, on the screen. But again, it's a uh, um, it's kind of plain and kind of small, so we're gonna we're gonna fix it up a little bit here. Now um, you can pick whichever font is available on your computer. You can go to the internet and download fonts and and pick something that you like. Uh, what I'm going to do in this one is I'm gonna uh, pick a specific one that I, I, I kind of like so it works pretty well in a situation like this it's the one that's on there right now first thing we need to do is name the font and I'm just going to call it FNT score again I'm using the same kind of naming convention I've been using before uh, lowercase FNT for font and then the word score with a capital S now the font I'm going to use is I'm going to use bank gothic LTBT now, again, you may not have this on your computer. If not, just pick something you like. You just go around and, and you look and you can pick uh, different fonts. See, there's a whole slew of them here. You know, you can pick, uh, there's Calibri, there's uh, even Brush Script. You can have all sorts of fancy ones. But just be careful. Uh, they don't always look very good on the screen. So uh, let me go back to the one I had when it was Bank Gothic, LTBT. Okay, and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. This is how big, roughly, it's going to show up on the screen. Um, it's a, uh, it's a little bit distorted because I'm zooming in on it, but this is uh, this kind of gives you an idea of how big it's going to be on the screen. So I can pick down here. This is the size. I'm actually going to double this to 24 because I want it to be very visible on the screen. And this anti-aliasing, what this does is it um, it makes it a little bit smoother, not quite so blocky um, when you're when it's displaying on the screen. Uh, also, you got to this setting here, light. Now, some fonts have different um, variations here that you can do. So this is just uh, the only version that you've got in this. So, so we're just going to stick with that. Okay, and you just click. Uh, it's already created here, so we're going to close it out up here. Let me move it down here so you can see. Just close it out right there. It's already there. If we ever want to edit it or we don't like the size, we just come double click here and we can change the size. All right, the next step to display the text on the screen is to we got to get uh, some object to draw it. Uh, we're going to use a, go ahead and use a controller since it always exists. So I'm going to double click on object controller. And I'm going to go to the draw event. We've already got it drawing the health bars here. So we're now going to get it to draw more than that. Uh, we're going to, I guess I don't need all of that on the side there. Let me zoom in here. Let's bring this up a little bit so we can see the whole window here. Okay. So to make it draw text, um, we're gonna the code we're gonna use that draws text. Actually, I'm gonna let me put a space here and some um, notes here. Draw score. Okay. So that tells it we're gonna 
that just lets us know later on that this is going to draw the score. And I may even want to up here, I can, uh, which health bar is this? This is the shield health. So, oops. Draw shield health bar. Okay. So this will help later on if we have to do some debugging, we can, we can uh, know where to go. Okay, so draw score here. It's going to be very simple. We're going to use draw text. And then this is where, again, you've looked down here and it, t it tells you this is where it's asking uh, where we want it to go. We can tell it that we want it to be on, um, uh, if we want it in the upper left corner, uh, since the upper left corner is zero, zero uh, to, if we wanted to bring it in just a little bit we're gonna we'll just do that we'll use 10 on the X and 10 on the Y so it'll come in 10 from the left and 10 pixels down then the next thing it's gonna ask is this is gonna show what we wanted to write so we wanted to write the word score so with an open quotation mark like this open score colon and then space and then a closing quote this will actually write the word score colon and its space and then we want it to actually put the score so you just go plus and then you type in the word string oh, you got to spell string correctly though and then you're going to use the word score now um, fortunately for us score is a built-in variable it's not we don't have to set it anywhere or do anything like that it is built in Okay, so uh, draw text, 10, 10, score, and then so this is what's going to get drawn. It's going to show the word score, and then it's going to actually show our score. Okay. Okay, so let's test it. And you'll see that you'll end up having to make some corrections here. Okay, first of all, it's really, really tiny. This is, because even, this is because even though we set a font, we didn't really uh, tell it what we wanted to do. And then, oh, it's, oh we've, we fixed this error before. Okay, but there was an error that, that popped up when I originally made this game, and it had to do with the alpha channel, it fading in and out. All right, so we've got to tell it now we want it to be the font we want. Okay, so before we draw the text, we have to tell it to set the font. And the text that does that is draw, set, font, and then you tell it the name of the font that you use. So if you come over here and you see there's FNT score, that's what goes here, FNT score. And we close it, semicolon at the end here, and play again. And you'll see now it is going to be using the font that we told it to. See? And if you ever don't like it and it's uh, it's not big enough or it's too big, all you have to do to fix it is just go into the score font and see I can change this now to let's say I can make it you know, let's just go wild here and go hundred. And then if we play the game. You see, now the score is super huge. Okay, so we can Go back, uh, I'm going to change this back to 24, that's the size I liked, okay. Play the game, make sure it's back to normal. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now, the next thing we do is, uh, we've got to, let me move this out. And notice that I'm typing all this before the um, it actually draws it. So I'm going to add another thing here. I can go between this here. I want to set the color. Let's say I don't like white. I want to make a, a different color. So I can draw, set, color. And then in here, you just type in C underscore, whoops, underscore, not dash. And you see... Uh, I showed you this before. It gives you a whole list of uh, different, different 
values you can use here. I'm going to go ahead and just use yellow. Close it and then you play it and you see now it is yellow. Okay. Alright. Now a couple of other things that you're not going to see that it really does anything at this point but uh, uh, we can set how it's aligned here and I'll show you, I'll put them in there and I'll show you what it does left and right. So I'm going to go draw, set, we're going to go, let's go horizontally first, H align, and we want it to be um, from the left, we want it to be anchored on the left, so right now it's on left, but I'm going to, I'm going to show you what happens if you put right, and you go F A underscore right, and look at our text now. See, now it's, it's, our anchor point was right here, 10. Now it's drawing all of our text off the screen here. See, so if I change it, and if I change this to center, we got to spell center correctly. And there we go. See, now it's centered here. We're still right here, but you see the rest of our score is, is not showing there. So then uh, let's go ahead and put it back to left, and you see oops, it becomes left aligned. So now it's got its anchor point in the left right here. 1010 is about right there, and it just draws it to the left. So, uh, and so you've got the, that's the horizontal alignment. I'm going to just copy this and paste it in the line below, and I'm going to change this H to a V. And what this does is just change the, uh, now we're worried about the vertical alignment. And instead of left, right, and center, our choices are top, bottom, and middle. So I want it to, I want it to be anchored from the top, which is the default setting. But if we put other text in here, it may mess us up, mess this one up, and it did not show up right. So we want to make sure that we tell this specific text that we want it aligned like this. Now I'm not going to show it because it's nothing has changed. So I just want you to know your options here are top, bottom, and middle. For H align, your choices are left, right, and center. Okay. Uh, now the one last thing I want to make sure you add is uh, image alpha. Draw set alpha. This will just ensure that our text will not be uh, the the text will not be transparent or fade away or be invisible. It will always make sure that it is fully visible when it gets drawn. Okay. Okay. Draw that. And there you go. There's your score. Of course, you got to hit something first. Okay, now notice we made a score are we hitting things but we're not getting any score okay the reason being is we haven't told it to do it so now that's the next step we got to tell it when we're when we're doing score now remember the word score here lowercase like this is a built-in variable and that's what we're going to use to to start adding adding a score okay the trick of this part is figuring out where you want to add score now in this game it's pretty straightforward whenever the asteroid gets uh, destroyed is when when we want points here so it's in the asteroid event, or the asteroid object and we're going to go into its destroy event here okay now here's where everything gets gets done here um, and we want to have a different score we could set it where you know you get the same amount of points no matter what type of asteroid you destroy but uh, we want to make it a little bit more equitable here because you know if you hit a it's easier to hit a large asteroid than it is a medium asteroid and easier to hit a medium than a small so we're going to assign points appropriately so uh, let me zoom in here the, again this is I am in the destroy event of the asteroid okay so 
right here we say okay this is when it's being destroyed if it is the large asteroid its sprite is the uh, large asteroid then we want to put score here so we have to put the score in somewhere between these two brackets and it really doesn't matter where uh, but you don't want it you don't want it within the repeat part here because then you'll your score will just be multiplied by four okay so uh, it's got to be in here I'm gonna go ahead and just put it right at the top here so I'm gonna hit enter and I'm just gonna go score plus equals and again plus equals makes it add to the existing score uh, now we gotta figure out how much we want it to be the large asteroid I'm gonna just gonna make it five points score plus equals five okay I'm going to go ahead and copy this, just this line. I'm just going to select right here and copy down to the next line. And then I'm going to copy that. Then I'm going to do the same thing in the other one. So here's the medium asteroid. I'm just going to go right there and control V and see it gives me another one. Now, uh, I'm going to make the, me since the medium asteroid is smaller, I'm just going to double that score to a 10. And then I'm going to come down to the small asteroid. Okay, now notice there is no thing for if small asteroid. So now I've got to make that myself here. Let me zoom out a little bit. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. There is there is a section down here. Sorry, I just I couldn't see it with the scrolling. So let me move this up a little bit so we can zoom in again. Okay, so. So okay, we've I've, we still have this in the uh, in the clipboard. So I'm just going to go down here. If it's a small asteroid again, in the same place, and then uh, the large was five points, the medium was ten. So I'm going to make this double the medium, so it makes it twenty. Okay. And then one other thing, we want the the ship, the enemy ship. If we hit the enemy ship, we want to add some points to that. So let's go to the enemy ship over here. Double click, and again in the let's go in the destroy event, and same thing here. We got to make sure we don't put it in the repeat here, otherwise you'll end up with a problem. So I'm just going to put it right at the end. And since this guy is really hard to hit, I'm going to make them worth a hundred points. Okay. So now if we play the game, we'll watch our score change as we as we destroy our asteroids and destroy our I got something over there. Okay, there's all the little pieces coming out. There we go. Oh, here comes the enemy. Let's see. Oh, oh I got to move out of the way before he kills me. Oh. Okay, now let's see. There's our, res our restore button. Come on. Come on, enemy, enemy. There he goes. There we go. See, and we got a lot of points for that. Okay. All right. So there's your score. So you can set up a whole bunch of scenarios where you add more score to that. Um, but it's it's always displayed there. Okay. We will see you in the next video.